Hi, this is Brad Ball with Frankel Realty Group in Jupiter, Florida, coming to you live from a wonderful home in Admiral's Cove. And I'm standing here with Ray Uzi, one of our top producers at Frankel Realty Group. And Ray's agreed to come on camera and tell us a little bit, uh, bestow a little knowledge on us with regard to valuating a home. So Ray, thank you for being here. Thanks, Brad. Thanks for spending this time with me today. Of course. So Ray, let's just say that someone calls you on the phone and is thinking about possibly listing their home for sale, but has no idea whatsoever what the value of their home would be. What would be the first step that you would tell them to take into determining market value? Well, the first thing I would have to do, Brad, is find out all the particular data about the house. For instance, how many bedrooms does it have? How many baths? Uh, whether it's got tile or carpet, whether it's a pool home or not a pool home, how many garages, a screen porch or not a screen porch. So the number one step is to get the nuts and bolts, the statistics of the home as to square footage on the air also, fenced in yard or not fenced in yard. All those things determine value for a home. So Ray, uh, you know, what would you say step two would be in uh, determining market value for a seller? Well, Brad, once you take all the data from step one, I think the next step would be to hire a local professional realtor that can take all that information we just spoke about, plug it into the MLS computer, come up with all the comparables of all the properties that sold in your neighborhood and surrounding neighborhoods over the last six months, and that would be the best way for a seller to determine today's real value of their home. Ray, that's excellent advice. Uh, with regard to step three, uh, I think you told me that you might have a little caution to give those who might be watching this video. I think sellers need to be careful that they don't take too much information off the internet. A lot of sites like uh, Zillow or Trulia, where they don't know if those sites are comparing assessed value, or they're comparing market value, or they're comparing short sales and foreclosures. So my best advice to any seller is to find a local professional realtor that knows the neighborhoods and the area better than any website could ever know. So Ray, we've talked about the first three steps. We've come up with uh, a value for the home that we're talking about. And uh, what would you say would be, if we come up with the right number, what would you say step four would be? Well, you know, the stats show us, Brad, that if you list your house properly and you have the correct value for your, house, for your home, that you'll get 65% of the available buyers out there through your home in the first four months. If you price it lower than today's value, you will get 85% of the available buyers through your home in the first four, month, uh, first four weeks. And if you list it for too much money, that number goes down to 35%. So the key is to list your home properly at the right price because the busiest time of your listing is going to be the first four weeks. That's where you're gonna get your buyer within the first month of your listing. And if it's listed within today's marketplace, one of those 65% will buy your home. I think that's great advice, Ray, and uh, if people want to get in touch with you to talk about putting a value on their home and possibly getting their home on the market for the season, how do they get in touch with you? Yeah, I'm easy to reach. Uh, my cell phone is 561-315-6329. You can also email me at ruzzi at frankel-realty.com. Of course, you can text me. You could probably get me on Facebook also, but feel free to call me at 561-315-6329.